Hi, I'm Joe Ucha. We're back in the boat shop and we're talking about ratios and proportions. One of the major uses for ratios and proportions are scale drawings. We draw something before we build it. And a scale drawing like this turns into a boat like this. And it's all because of ratios and proportions. So when we say scale, when you look at a scale drawing, there'll be a little key down here in the corner. And this drawing is for the hardware and the spars and bulkheads, which are the masts and all the other parts, and bulkheads are the walls. But it says one and a half inches equals one foot. What does that mean? That means that for every eighth of an inch on this drawing, it's equal to one inch on the real boat. And how do we know that? Well, if it's an inch and a half to the foot, so one and a half inches equals one foot. So one and a half inches on the drawing equals one foot on the real boat. How many inches do you have in a foot? You have 12 inches. How many eighths do you have in an inch and a half? Well, in one inch, you have eight eighths. And then in half an inch, you have four. So that's going to be equal to 12 eighths. 12 eighths equal 12 inches. So 1 eighth equals 1 inch. When we come to actually read the drawings, we have a couple of different tools. I can, since I know that 1 eighth equals 1 inch, I can use a regular ruler as long as I take out my glasses. And I can say that, let's say I wanted to measure the oak seat supports. Now he, he's telling me, the designer here, Joe White, is telling me that they're three quarter by one and a quarter. Well, one and a quarter should be a little bit more than an eighth of an inch, and three quarters should be a little bit less. This will be the, the vertical dimension will be the one and a quarter. So I can put that down there, and I can say, yep, that's a little bit more than uh, an eighth of an inch. So that's the one and a quarter dimension. I can take, so I can use a regular ruler, but it's not going to be as accurate. I can take a scale ruler where that inch and a half is divided up into 12 sections, so those, those represent the inches of a foot, and then those inches, those scale inches, are further divided into quarter inches. So this is going to be a lot more accurate. I can come here. I can get, set the scale at zero, okay? And I can see that I'm going to one and then a quarter. So that's my inch and a quarter in scale. There's even another way, using an older tool, to do this. These are called proportional dividers. And this tool is about as old as Dennis and I here put together. What it does, you set it on the ratio. So I set it so that, that those lines line up and it's at 8. Now, every distance I measure on my scale drawing here, I'll get the actual distance here. So I can measure that distance and I should get an inch and a quarter there. And I get about an inch and three sixteenths. So I was probably off when I measured. Yeah, I was. There we go. And there we go.